Hello and welcome to my channel with Sikhya. In this video, we'll be discussing about exchange traded derivatives life cycle. We'll be going through the complete process with the help of an example of a short put option to help you understand how it works. So let's get started. Exchange traded derivatives are financial contracts that are traded on the regulated exchanges. They include futures contracts, options contracts, and other financial contracts that derive their value from an underlying asset. The exchange traded derivatives life cycle has six key stages. Trade initiation, clearing, margining, marking to market, settlement, and expiry. Let's go through each of these stages of the life cycle using an example. Suppose on May 1st, a trader named Priya wants to sell a short put option on a stock ITC with a strike price of Rs 420 and an expiration date of one month from now on May 25th. The first stage of the life cycle of an ETD is trade initiation. This occurs when a buyer and a seller agree to enter into a contract to buy or sell an underlying asset at a specified price and time. The trade is executed on an exchange and the terms of the contract are standardized by the exchange. Trader Priya creates a short put option contract with the specifications mentioned above and submits it to the exchange. The exchange lists the contract on its trading platform where it can be bought and sold by other market participants. The next stage in the life cycle is clearing. This is the process of matching the trades executed on the exchange and ensuring that both parties have sufficient funds or collateral to cover their obligations. The clearing process is facilitated by a clearing house, which acts as a middleman between the buyer and seller. The clearing house guarantees the performance of the trade by ensuring that each party has sufficient funds to cover their obligations. The clearing house also collects the margin from both parties to cover any potential losses. Let's say another trader named Ashish buys the short option from Priya for a price of 90 paise per share. The lot size is 1600 shares, so the total contract value is rupees 1440. Once the trade has been cleared, the next stage is margining. Margin is the amount of collateral required by the exchange to ensure that both parties can meet their obligations under the contract. The margin requirement varies depending on the volatility and riskiness of the underlying asset. To manage the risk associated with the short put option contract, the exchange requires Priya to put up an initial margin deposit. In this example, let's assume the initial margin is Rs. 84,500. As the value of the underlying asset changes, the value of the derivative contract also changes. This process is called marking to market. The exchange will adjust the margin requirements based on the current value of the contract to ensure that both parties have sufficient collateral to cover their obligations. The value of the derivative is marked to market at the end of each trading day. If the value of the proposition has increased, the trader receives a profit. If it has decreased, the trader may receive a margin call. The final stage in the life cycle of an ETD is settlement. This is the process of closing out the contract and transferring the funds or the underlying asset between the parties. Settlement can occur in one of two ways, either through physical delivery of the underlying asset or through cash settlement. If the price of ITC stock remains above the strike price of Rs 420, Priya's option will expire worthless and Priya will get to keep the Rs 1440 as premium received from selling the option. However, if the price of ITC stock drops, below the strike price. Ashish will exercise his option and Priya will be obligated to buy 1600 shares of ITC stock 
at the strike price of rupees 420 per share. If the price of ITC stock drops to rupees 400 per share, Priya will have to buy 1600 shares of ITC stock at rupees 420 per share, resulting in a loss of rupees 32,000. To cover this potential loss, Priya is required to maintain a maintenance margin which is a minimum margin level that must be maintained to keep the contract open. The derivative contract will have a specified expiry date, at which point the contract will be closed out and settled. If the contract is not closed out before expiry, the exchange will automatically close it out on the expiry date. If the short put option contract is not exercised, it will expire worthless on the expiration date and Priya will keep the premium received from selling the option. However, if the option is exercised, Priya will be required to buy 1600 shares of ITC stock at the strike price of Rs. 420 per share. The exchange plays a central role in the life cycle, ensuring that both the parties have sufficient collateral and that the contract is settled in a timely and efficient manner. The exchange and its members are required to report all trades to regulatory authorities, including details of the underlying asset, the contract specifications, and the trading parties. The exchange and its members manage the post-trade processing of the derivative, including the reconciliation of trades, the settlement of margins, and the reporting of any errors or disputes. The exchange monitors the trading activity for market manipulation, insider trading, and other illegal and unethical behavior. It may take action against the traders who violate the exchange rules or engage in illegal activity. Thank you for tuning into today's video. We hope you found this information useful. Please do share your views in the comments and share this video with your friends if you feel they can also learn something from it. Join us next time for more insights into the world of finance. Till then, have a great day.